Adobe Presenter 8 allows you to easily preview your courses when you're working on them and see the changes you've made in real time and uh, get a good idea of how the learners are going to see the course. Once you're done, it allows you to publish the courses to multiple formats and then deploy it to LMS or any other web server. So here in the presentation, click the Adobe Presenter tab and under presentation, you get this option of previewing. So uh, click on this preview button and you get four options. Uh, one is preview presentation, which allows you to preview the whole presentation. Preview current slide allows you to preview only one slide at a time, the slide that's selected. And uh, the next option is preview from the current slide. What this allows you to do is to preview uh, the slides starting from the currently selected slide to the end of the presentation. Also, you get a chance to uh, preview the next five slides. Now, this magic number five can be changed to whatever you want. All you have to do, go, do is uh, go to the settings panel and there is this um, tab here, uh, preview. Under that, you can go and change it to any number you want. You want 10, you want 5, you want 4. Uh, so let's uh, change it to 4 and see what happens. Once I uh, click OK here and I uh, click the preview button again, I get this number changed to so you can preview any number of uh, slides that you want. So let's uh, preview the presentation. You can see that the preview starts here and it shows you the entire interface uh, uh, that will be there for your course. You can also uh, change the view and see how it how it looks like in the full screen mode and uh, and in the sidebar mode. So uh, here everything will work except one thing which is attachments. So you won't be able to download the attachments from the preview mode so that if you want to test that you have to publish the course and see otherwise everything will look the same as it looks in the published output. Let's close this preview and uh, let's see the publish output. So for publishing a course, you just have to go and click the publish button under presentation. And here you get this dialog which allows you to uh, store or uh, the published output on your local disk. So here you have to define the location. If the location uh, is not what you want to uh, define, you can just go to choose and uh, you know define the location where you want to save the project. If you want to publish a course and share it with your colleagues or SME to take a look, so you can just uh, go and create a zip package and that zip package you can easily send to them for review. You can also opt to create a CD package. It will create an auto run file. Uh, so once you have created the CD package, you can burn a CD out of it and uh, it will auto run the course for you once the CD is uh, played. Along with that, you have a snapshot of the project information here. Here you can easily uh, go and click these, uh, these options and change uh, the settings, the project information that's there uh, from this panel as well. Also, you have these quick buttons to change the settings and the slide manager. And there is this option view output after publishing. Uh, so once you check this and uh, click publish, uh, you will get a dialog which says that view output after publishing. So let's see the output file. So here's the final output. It starts uh, playing the course for me. And I hit the play button. Picture this. You're a high profile photographer. So it starts playing the course for me beautifully. Let me just close this and show you uh, the other publish option. So I click the publish button again. And uh, here uh, I get an option to uh, publish a course for connect. You can define your servers here and click OK. And once the server is defined, you can easily uh, publish the courses and then deploy it to the connect server. Also, you can create a PDF out of your course. Just choose the location where you want to save the PDF and hit publish and it will create a PDF course file for you. That's all for uh, preview and publish uh, options. I hope you find them really easy to work with. Thanks for watching this tutorial.